Hey there, it's AJ from KajabiExperts.com. In this video, we're gonna see something that has been recently posted and asked a lot in the Facebook group, in the Kajabi Facebook group. People is asking all the time, hey, I have this pretty big video, it's half an hour of video content or whatever, and I cannot upload it uh, to Kajabi because it's one gigabyte or two gigabytes of video. And this is uh, uh, pretty big for uploading. So in this video, we're gonna see how you can resize the video to make it smaller but still uh, having a good quality so still having a quality good enough for uploading it online this not only works for kajabi but it, al it also works for other platforms or for other video sharing platforms like youtube vimeo or whenever you want to share even if you want to share it via dropbox or whatever it will make your videos smaller we're going to use a free tool called handbrake and you're gonna see how easy it is. If you follow the steps in this video, you're gonna resize your videos and make them more easy to share. So let's go ahead and let's see how we can do that. So the tool that we're going to use, it's called Handbrake and can be downloaded from this URL, handbrake.fr. And this is a free tool and it's available for a lot of operating systems. So if we go to well, I'm on Mac, so that's why it's offering me the Mac OS version. But if we go to other platforms, we see that we also have Windows, uh, Ubuntu or other uh, operating systems. So you can download pretty much for anything. Uh, we're going to download it and install it in our system. And uh, I have I have recorded a test video here. It's a screen record that takes just some tests and it's 40 seconds of video and the size is 73 megabytes it's um, I would say it's a lot because uh, for less than a minute of video and almost 100 megabytes it's pretty a lot of space and if we want to later share it uh, or upload it in Kajabi or somewhere else it's gonna take us a lot of time and it can even fail if, if it would be larger so it, if it would be for example a half an hour video or something where the size would be one gigabyte perhaps or two so what we're gonna do after we install the the tool is we're gonna open it and we see well first of all is that it asks which video file we are we want to edit so i'm gonna select this one double click and it's scanning the the video now after it's it has scanned we can see in the right side of the tool we can see different um, presets that we have so there are some prevailed and you can either uh, even add more presets and we're gonna see how you can do that what i normally do is i select the height profile and that works pretty pretty fine pretty good for me and uh, well, you can also use the normal, but I will show you what I do and that works for me for the videos that I upload to Kajabi. So I usually use high profile because I normally my in my school videos, in my teaching videos, I, I, I'm on camera, so I need them to appear properly. And I check the web optimize because I'm just gonna show them on the web, so I don't care if they don't have any very good color because they are not for for showing on a, devi on a device they are just for showing on the web and uh, and then the other thing that i change is the average bit rate so that's the average bit rate that is gonna be across the video and what i usually suggest for my students is if you are uh, doing just a screencast video uh, where there is no, you are not appearing on the screen. I usually use here uh, 2000, so I put here 2000. But if you appear on the screen and also you can do or not a screencast, but you, your face appears on the screen, so there's a, a web camera involved, so there, are, there, there needs to be more colors. Then I usually use here 3000. You can have uh, two presets, or you can just one 1050. That's that is half and half, and that may uh, work for most of your cases. So 
Uh, the other stuff, I don't usually change it because we want the same frame rate, we want the same, uh, we want this video code or an MP4 file. Here's the destination, so where do you want to save it? In my case, I want to save it in the desktop, but you can change it clicking the browse button. And here is audio. In my case, this test I recorded doesn't have any audio, but if you use the height profile or even the normal profile settings, it should be enough. Just make a try with normal and height and uh, to see which one fits best for your needs. It, as I said, I normally use high profile, but some people prefer to have a little bit less of quality and uh, videos that are less less big. So uh, yeah. Once we have this, we can actually save it as a profile for future, so we don't have to keep changing that stuff all the time. So if we just hit this plus icon here, and we give a name, for example, test preset. And for the picture size, I usually say search maximum. So it takes the picture size of the search of the video you're adding. In. So now we can hit add and we have it here for future. So now you, instead of clicking here and going and changing average bit rate, blah, blah, you can just hit uh, the, preset, the preset that we saved and that's it. Now, once we got that, we can just uh, start or we can add to queue. So we can add this video to queue and open another one, add to queue, open another one, and then start processing all of them. So this tool is really, really powerful. You can add, for example, 100 videos and process all of them at the same time. But I would suggest if you do that, just do, do one first, make sure it works properly, you see the right settings, and then do the other a batch. So once we have them mm, ready to, to go, we hit start and we wait for the process to finish. It can take a while depending on the video, uh, if it's too long, if it's too big, mm, whatever, it can take more or it can take less time. So let's wait. Okay, so now the queue is done, my video has finished. And let's take a look at the size now. This is the new video, the MP4. The previous video was 73 megabytes and this new video is 12 megabytes. So for the same time, it's even less than half of the size. Let's take a look at the video. So I'm going to hit preview and I can change to the other video. And you see there's almost no difference. This is the new video. This is the other video. So the image is pretty much the same. So we are conserving the same image quality while reducing the size of the video a lot. And that allows us to share easily the video. So we can share it, we can upload it in YouTube or somewhere else or in Kajabi or whatever. So I hope this, this small tutorial helps you and as always, hit the like button if you like the video, add any comments or uh, subscribe to get updated with the latest videos from Kajabi Experts. Mm -hmm.